Happy Feast of Don Bosco. It is important to understand the background of Italy during Don Bosco's time. The youngsters were flocking to the cities. They had no jobs. They ended up as street urchins. They had very harsh life. A man sent by God for these demoralized and lonely kids. His name was John Bosco. He won over these boys through normalcy. He appeared normal to these boys. He mixes with them, plays with them. He does all sorts of things with them. People call him a madman, abnormal. But in the eyes of God and his poor boys, he was very normal. He treated them with dignity and respect. He built a healthy environment for them in order to draw them away from the vices. Everything he did was aimed at showing them that God was interested in them. Don Bosco was so effective because he had allowed his life to become a living parable for, of the gospel he preached. It was in his wisdom, his teaching skills, or his spiritual depth that first attracted people to him. Rather, the initial attraction was to a person who was fully active, alive, a man who made full use of his talents and gifts. But above all, a man who was so filled with the vitality of the Holy Spirit. What we should especially try to imitate in, in Don Bosco's life is his heroic fidelity to duty at all times. He was ready to give his attention to the latest comer, to the latest appeal made to him. He was ready to devote his attention to everything and to everyone, as though every single thing and every individual was the only thing, the only person he had to deal with. Let us respond with such promptness to our duties, no matter what they are. It is possible, it is our obligation. Viva Don Bosco, happy peace to you.